Uh, he's on there for the moment. Stay under that other line. He's like propelling like a propeller. I thought he was gonna propel around my other line. What a juicy, delicious looking brush bow right there. River Rats, I just got done with a wonderful guide trip this morning. We uh, did pretty good on the Walters, so that was fun. But uh, it's lunchtime and I was thinking, you know, I could go get something to eat at the gas station or I could just go catch it. So let's go. I have a cooler full of nice, delicious shad. So I have that going for me. I have lots of things going for me. I mean, I'm out here on the water, I have bait. And there's a strong possibility I'm gonna catch something and I'm going to eat it. I'd say things are going pretty swell. Honestly, the best part right now is probably the bait because it's primo bait. I mean, it's a little big for this time of year, but I'm gonna let her rip anyway. Cause you never know when that eight pounder is hanging around. And if I get an eight, probably not gonna eat him, but I would enjoy catching him. So I have that. Shallow. I don't mind it in the fall. I really don't. Double hook rig here. Might tie another one up. So many possibilities right now. Like I said, life's pretty good. Options are good. The only thing that make it better is a couple feisty eater-sized channel rats. Put the little guy up on top. You know, oh no. Bad cast. It's okay. I'm a professional. Not. That's more like it. Oh, I threw my threw my bait off. This is getting ridiculous. That'll work. And I gotta rig up this one. I go. We'll go single hook rig. One double hook rig. Two single hook rigs. Got my handy dandy skizzers on the belt. Honestly, this handy. Or something so small, and you wouldn't think it'd be a big deal. It's nice to have that belt clip. It's the little things, you know? I feel like there's lots of good little things going on. No bites yet, that I've noticed, I guess. Ooh, where are you at, four outs? I'm gonna do this for a while, and if I can't get dinner or lunch this way, then switch to walleyes later. Not a bad fallback plan. Oh, got a tap, tap, tap a -roo. Ooh, He's excited. Oh, got a tap -a here. Ooh, he's a little more serious. Oh, popped it out of his mouth. It was not that serious. I'm gonna try to send this one DT. That's downtown. Yeah! Ooh, that burned my thumb a little. It's kind of neat. I don't know what it is, but lots of times that one you throw down the furthest is the one that gets the good fish. And then on the plus side, you have a longer distance to enjoy the fight. Okay. Oh. Vicious little fellas. Just in case. Set my anchor pin so the boat quits swaying and the rods quit flexing. That'll help substantially. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy myself. Not that I'm not already enjoying myself. Maybe I should just sit up here. I mean, I have a chair for it and everything. I never sit up here though. This is kind of nice. We need a slam dunker. We've got five minutes fish. Honestly, didn't think it would take this long. I still got that guy playing with it. He is schmoll. Oh. You have one minute to get it done. Guess that brush pile isn't as juicy as I hoped it would be. I've dedicated way too much time to these little fish. Let's move. Well, that was quick. New spot, made a cast, getting nibbed. 
nibbed with some tenacity. I believe in you. You can do it. All I want to do is fry you up. Oh, the other one's getting hit. Two rods out. Both getting tapped. I wonder what's going to happen if I put a third rod up. Two cats. That's all we need. Oh, stealth. I scared him. Scared myself a little bit. Wasn't exactly where I want it, but it's where it's gonna be. Is he on it? Oh, he just popped off. Cause I fat thumbed him. Or maybe it's cause he's just really small. Going with that. That wasn't a terrible fish. Is he gonna be nice enough to give me another shot? Uh, he's on there for the moment. Oh, he's tiny. Stay under that other line. He's like propelling, like a propeller. I thought he was gonna propel around my other line. Not big. That's okay. That is a perfect eater-sized catfish. Exactly what I'm talking about right there. One more just like you. That would be ideal. On the board. Feels good. Any more down there? I hope so. Time to check some baits. Oh, that feels empty. Super empty. That dog got me. Come on, little buds. Oh, he heard me talking. One or two will lure like that, and I'm good to go. Come back. You're bobbing like you want to do it. Oh, I reeled it right into a freaking log. Good one. That might be the end. Moving spots. Re-rig, then move in spots. Got me a nice beefy log. A nice defined current seam. Hopefully some nice chans, eater sized, right off of there, yep. So one, and hopefully there's enough current while they actually set the hook on their own. That would be cool. It's gonna run down the line. Got that one close, and this one a little further, and the next one even a little further than that. There should be a few here. Hopefully they're bigger. This sun is warm. I'm honestly surprised I haven't even had a nib yet. Whatever. Got a nice angry channel cat getting after it. Was. Probably took my bait. Some Carl the Carp jumping back there. This time of year can be tough on cats. Depending on water level. Oh, he's not on it. Ooh. Do I have him? For the moment, I'm gonna be easy on him because um, he's not big, big, and I don't know how well he's hooked. Stay on. Oh, he's tiny. Delicious. Get in here. He's being like a little propeller. That's what they do in cold water. I'm skiing him. Back in the water. Get over here. Come here. I'm gonna risk it. Flipped. Who just hooked right on the snoot? Right there. <laughs> Not big. I would really like one more. But I'm only gonna give him like 10, 15 minutes to get one more. Just like him. Fiddler. Oh, he was so good. A bone. Boxing him. Box fish. It's odd how the one that's casted the furthest gets the most action most of the time. I'm sure there's a reason. But uh, he's not saying nothing. Put some fresh bait on it and send it back downtown. Hopefully he has some friends down there. Oh, or up here. That'd be all right. The other rods aren't getting touched. All righty. Last spot. And then... Uh, I'm going to eat what's in the cooler. 
I almost said eat what I got, but I don't want to rhyme. It'd be awkward. More awkward than I normally am. Big cast. A little laugh if that gets folded by like a five pounder. Should be a substantial compared to the fish I've been catching. If I caught a five, I'd probably have to let him go. Be too much. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Hopefully catfish nuggets. I might have got hit already. Ooh, got a little live action over there. Do it. It's okay. Do your thing, bud. Or not. It's cool too, I guess. Time's up. I'm gonna leave the rods in, but I am gonna go fillet those channel rats and nuggetize them. I'm gonna motor up to a sandbar and fry them up. Be nice to get a third one while I'm doing that, but if not, I'll eat okay. And I'm just not like I'm gonna I'm light enough, I'm gonna blow away. So I have that going for me. Sadly, I just realized I have no Frank's Red Hot, so, or anything else to uh, soak these in. So we're gonna have them stand alone and just bread them as is. I think I'm gonna cook them on the boat. Change my mind, especially because I'm getting a bite. Nah, that'd be dumb. I can still throw lines out from the bank. Let's be safe. Let's be smart about this. Well, that looks like a potentially wonderful spot to dig a hole and fry some fish. Or sink to my knees. Duh. We'll see what happens. All about being majestic. That got shallower quicker than I thought it would. In my defense. Make sure the boat doesn't go anywhere. Am I gonna sink? Well, it feels reasonably solid. Move the boat a little further now that I'm out of it. Need fish. Need water. Hydration's key. Alright. Stuff like this is why I prefer to wear rubber boots in a boat when it's cool out. You never know when you have to step in the water for something. Nice and sloppy. Actually, it's not that sloppy. There's some goose poop though. Oh yeah, this will be easy. Freshly deposited sand. That'll be prime for holding my burner. Yeah, pretty solid. Already getting the crunchy sand effect. Okay, need fire, need grease, need fish. Right in. Fire though. Where'd my lighter go? Front row. Okay. There. Close call. That would have been annoying. Okay, that there. Sound some grease. Probably won't even need that much. She's even kind of a level. Things are happening. Any left in here? Let's see if we can stretch this baggie of fish bread in a, out. Let's see how river water does as far as holding the coating goes. But it does all right. Need some more bread in there. Just polish this bag off, I think. Oh, we are right on the verge. It doesn't hold it like an egg wash would, but it does all right. I think it's time. Oh, we can double check. Oh, it's time. Pretty awesome. There's living the life, and then there's this. Really living the life. It's 
suppose I should put my lighter back where it belongs so uh, I don't have a minor heart attack like I did. I like food a lot. Oh yeah, ooh, that was almost really bad. Oh, I have some tortillas. We've seen better days. Might fry them up. I mean, it's a good source of fiber. And that'll add a little more filler to the fish. Oh yeah. Let me get me one of them flat burners one of these days so I can cook on the boat and I don't have to like kneel down to cook fish all the time. That'd be cool. Working on it. Baby steps. Well, I think that guy's done. Need a paper towel weight anyway. He's probably done. It's thicker ones, I'll give him a little bit more time. Yeah, yeah like that one. Love cats out of cold water. You're gonna need a channel cat. That's a good one. Since these cats were small, I cut my chunks a little bigger because you know the fillets are thinner. Still gonna have three rounds. I ain't bad. Yeah, I might be able to squeeze it in there. Yep, made it to efficiency. And after this come the tortillas that hopefully aren't too stale. Good things have just happened. Fried four tortillas. Fish is done. Need a little sand soap. Yeah, pretty clean. No hot sauce. Bear catfish. And a tortilla. This is amazing. Well, where we're at. I think the best spice for fish is eating it outside. Condiments make you weak anyway. Unnecessary means to delivering food to your body. I don't know what I actually think about that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, no monsters, but little guys taste better anyway. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to check out my podcast, it's linked in the description. Those are a ton of fun. If you want to book a trip, let me know. I'll be in Florida shortly. And uh, if I'm not already there, but uh, let me know if you want to go run the river and catch some blue cats and hybrid stripers and whatnot. It'll be fun. So thanks for watching. It means a lot for real. Hope you catch a giant.